morning, good afternoon, and good evening wherever you are on the globe. Today we're talking about another wonderful plant on fledgy age. I don't know how many of us are able to consume the bitter leaf, but the bitter leaf is a very amazing plant. I know a lot of people will not like it. I know my boss at home doesn't like medicines and so he doesn't like to go near bitter leaf. Some of us, we love the bitter leaf and we make the bitter leaf our friend because there are a lot of diseases that this bitter leaf can work on and I would love it if one of my Nigerian subscribers who want to tell me how they manage to do the bitter leaf stew or their bitter leaf soup without getting it to be bitter because I have dealt with bitter leaf I have washed it I have made sure that I have taken all the water out of it try to take all the bitterness out of it but at the end of the day it still tastes a little bitter <music> when I was small, when you having a fever, the first thing my mommy does is walks to our neighbor's compound, plucks some bitter leaf, comes to blend it, sieve it, and then you are made to drink it. So if you drink it in the morning, by evening time, you began feeling very strong already. So I know bitter leaf is very, very good for fever. And another thing I know bitter leaf to be very good for, because we used to have it when we were small, is treating eczema. So if you have eczema, look for bitter leaf and all you need to do is to rub the leaf at the place that the eczema is. So if you're someone who doesn't probably rub it on, you can just make a poultice. So you mash it in the small medicine mashing bowl and then it becomes a poultice and then you apply it. It's also very good for ringworm. If your kids are suffering from ringworm on their head or on any part of the skin, you can apply it topically on these and the ringworm will vanish. Bitter leaf is also very very effective for treating diabetes because it has flavonoids it has antiviral compounds and it has glycoside which actually help to manage the sugar level so if you want to use the bitter leaf as your source of medicine for diabetes all you need to do is grind or blend like i said smooth and then you take a teaspoon full of it or you can also dehydrate it and then blend it into a powder and then you put Put a teaspoonful daily in your water or in your drink or in your food and consume it. also very good for tummy upset so you took in something that is making your tummy feel uncomfortable you can make small quantities of this like you can do it the same way maybe a teaspoonful you take twice daily and the tummy that is feeling upset will start to feel better if you have cough all you need is to grab one leaf of the bitter leaf and just chew it before you go to bed you can repeat this for about two three days and the cough will stop if you have body itch say when you bath cold water or something you feel body itchness if you are someone who scratch your body quite often you can boil and squeeze the bitter leaf add it to your water you're going to use to bath at night or you can actually smear the liquid you have from it on your body twice in the night and you can also drink the juice twice in the day for internal body itchiness so if you have this itchiness you can apply it this way and you will feel very fine if you feel very fatigued easily when you do any job you can do those bitter leaf juice and add a pinch of salt to it and then you add three tablespoons to a diluted juice so probably you've done a pineapple juice or orange juice or something you can add a pinch of salt to this bitter leaf and add three tablespoons to it and then you can consume it twice a day all the fatigue will be gone you will feel better you will feel strong you feel energized so instead of taking painkillers like you feel fatigued so you're going to sleep you say let me go and take some painkiller you can rest on the painkiller taken and have this juice with this bitter leaf in there and you will feel energized you will feel rejuvenated during the next day when you drink it at night
beef is also known to stop cancer cells from growing. So if you want to use bitter leaf and you want it to be effective in the stopping of the cancer cells from growing, you can actually add some scent leaves because they are herbs that are all anti-inflammatory. They have anti-inflammatory properties. And because they have anti-inflammatory properties, when you consume them, they suppress the cancer cells from growing. So if you pluck some few bitter leaves and then you add some scent leaves, you're actually going to help your body fight these cancer cells by impeding their growth. So they will not be able to multiply or grow and then your system will feel much better. Ah, are you aging and are you having menopausal symptoms that are bothering you? Are you having hot splashes? Are you having fatigue? Are you having joint problems? Are you feeling really tired of your menopause? Please, don't worry. All you need to do is take some fresh bitter leaves and then extract the juice, add some honey to taste and drink it every morning and at night when you are going to sleep. And believe me, all the menopausal symptoms you are feeling that are weighing you down are going to calm down and you are going to feel fine. The horse splashes are going to get missing. You are not going to be sweating even when you are sitting under AC. You are going to feel much better with your symptoms. out there have used the bitter leaf in any way to cure any form of disease or any form of illness that I have not mentioned. I'll be very glad, I'll be very grateful if you share with us in the comment section so that we can also know. My name is Nini and I will always come your way with these tips. Look out for us every Friday and enjoy what we bring along to you. Share your experiences with us so that we walk this journey this year together. Share the link if you haven't shared to anybody. Let them come and subscribe to the channel and also enjoy what we learn if you have subscribed already always give us thumbs up if you like the information that we give you and let us become a wonderful family as we walk along if you have any questions on gardening always put it under any of our videos when we see it we'll give you the appropriate response that you require we love you all and have a wonderful time out there may god be with you all and may this year bring you a lot of good things god bless you all and have a wonderful time Bye bye